Today we're going to install a MadJack 600 amp torque controller on a club car precedent. Included in this kit is the on-the-fly programmer, the cart specific harness, and the 600 amp controller. Now let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to install our on-the-fly programmer. We want to remove the dash and then take the 8 pin and feed it down through the access hole behind the dash. You want to pull all the slack in. We will secure this to the frame later. Now you can reattach your dash. Feed your harness in the bottom side of the dash between the floorboard and the dash. Now that you have your dashboard reattached, you can pull the sticker off the back of your on-the-fly programmer. You'll also notice that we've left ourselves some slack so we can attach it to our dashboard and then pull the Velcro off if we want to make any adjustments on the fly. Now that we have our on-the-fly programmer attached, we're going to turn our key switch to off, switch the card into tow, engage the park brake, and disconnect the main positive and negative battery terminals. Now we're ready to install our controller. You may need to remove the middle two batteries to make it a little easier to get the controller box out of the cart. We're going to remove the top bolt and retain in the top of the controller box panel here. Now make sure that none of the harnesses are in your way. You're going to pull the harness box down and straight out like so. We're also going to lay a piece of cardboard down so that we don't touch any of the contacts. Now we're going to take our new Torx 600 amp controller and replace the old controller here. Now we're going to detach the harness, the blue and orange wire, and the 4 pin harness from the old controller. Now using a half inch socket, we're going to remove the green and yellow, the white and the black wires from the old controller. Now using a 10 millimeter socket, we're going to remove and retain the three bolts that hold the old controller in place. Now we're going to take the new 600 amp controller and attach it to the same location as the old controller using the three bolts we just removed. Now that we have our controller secured, we're going to take our orange spay connector from our old controller and plug that into the F1 terminal here. Next, we're going to take the blue spade connector and plug it into the F2 spade on the opposite side. Now we're going to take the green and yellow from our motor and attach it to the B plus terminal on the new controller. Now we're going to take the white wire from our motor and attach it to the M location on our controller. Now we're going to take the black wire from our old controller and put it on the B minus terminal on the new one. These are how our wires should lay out. Orange on the outside green and yellow, white, the two blacks, and the blue. Now we're going to take the torque controller harness and plug it into the top of the controller here. Then we're going to take the harness that was plugged into the old controller and plug it into the new harness. The old four pin harness will not be used. Now we're going to take our on the fly programmer harness, feed it under the cart, and run it up behind the battery well. We're then going to plug it into the new controller harness as well. You'll also notice the connection for the four-wheel drive system. If you have one, this is where it plugs in at. Now that we have our controller installed, we can reattach our controller panel. But first, to fit the back of the harness, we're going to have to do a little trimming in the back of the battery well. To reinsert your controller panel, unplug the wiring harness from the controller. This will be plugged back in later. Starting off, 
Measure from the outer right side of the cover 5.5 inches and make a vertical line. Now move 2 inches to the left and mark another vertical line. Now pull 3 inches from the bottom of the cover and mark a horizontal line. Using a straight edge, trace the cutout area. Using a multi-tool, cut out the access hole for your harness. You may need to trim a little extra around the hole to allow for your harness. Now that you have your access hole cut, you can plug in your controller harness. We can also at this time secure all of our motor wires, our main harness, and our on-the-fly programmer harness to the cart. Now that we have our harnesses secured, we can reattach the controller cover box. At this point, we can go ahead and reattach our main positive and main negative terminals. Now we're going to flip our tow switch into run, and you're now finished installing your Mad Jack 600 amp controller designed for a club car precedent 2008 and a half and newer.